you want to learn a useful trick that'll help you win an equations shake? Well, this trick, perfect squares in the root, will give you that. Before we begin, it's imperative that you know your perfect squares. Like, 1 times 1 is 1, 2 times 2 is 4, 3 times 3 is 9, etc. The same number being multiplied, getting another number. You need to know these numbers. So just make sure you know them. So let's just review what happens when you square a perfect square. So let's take one of the numbers we saw from the list. Let's take 25. If we were to square root it. Now square roots, um, they require that you have two numbers and then one of them gets to come out as the answer from the square root. Think about square and like square root has, like it has a two in the front but it's invisible. So you, out of two, you want one. So here we're taking that five. Notice how perfect squares are the only ones that come out as whole numbers. Because if we had like square root of like 31, that's not a perfect square. You don't have two whole numbers that are gonna come out of there. So you're gonna get some sort of decimal. So, and you can't really do much with decimals in academic games, equations. That's why we're gonna be focusing on perfect squares. So let's start with a goal of 25 times 16 rooted as our first example. Notice how there are no three digits because only the minor divisions are allowed to use three digits in their goal. So if you're elementary or above, you can't. So I'm not going to use it just for that case. So you need to recognize that since it's a square root, you're going to want, these are perfect squares, 25 and 16. This breaks off into 5 times 5. And this breaks off into 4 times 4. So one um, property of square roots is that if you have two numbers that are being multiplied in the square root, you are actually able to break it up. So we go from root 25 times 16. We go to root 25 times root 16. So we can break it up actually. That's a property of square roots, but as long as they're being multiplied. And I'm showing you this so you can understand how we're going to split this into 5-5 five, five, and then 4-4. Four, four. And from there, since it's a square root, we need that 5, that 4 comes out. So this is going to be um, 5 times 4 because the 5 came from the root 25 and the 4 came from root 16 and that's just 20. So this is just, that's the value of the goal and then you can make a solution like um, you can do 5 times 4 or you can do something else. So here's a DIY for you guys, do it yourself. The goal is root, print parentheses, 81 times 49. See if you can use the perfect squares tricks we were doing to solve this one. To begin for the answer, we're going to split up using our property. This is equal to root 81 times root 49. 81 is a perfect square. It breaks up into 9 and 9. 49 is also a perfect square. It breaks up into 7 and 7. Since we're taking the square root, we're going to take one of those two and they get to come out of the square root. We're left with 9 times 7 equals to 63. And that is the value of this goal here. So let's take this, this goal we used from before and let's use some higher level thinking to bring it up a notch, one level higher, make it more complicated. What if we were to multiply each of these components by two? Our new goal would be, our brand new goal would be root 50 times 32. If you were to solve this one, this 50 and 32 aren't perfect squares, so we can't do what we did before. However, it's still pretty easy once you figure it out. 50 can be broken into 2 and 25. 32 can be broken into 2 and 16. And understand that all these numbers are being multiplied to each other, right? So, this is actually equal to root, you bring the 2 and the 2 together to get 4, times 25, times 16. And with that property we were looking at before, 
we're able to actually break this up into root 4 times root 25 times root 16. And then that is just 2 times 5 times 4 is equal to 40. Notice how we have doubled the value of what we did in the last example. It was 20 before, and now it's 40. So when you do this trick, you're doubling the value of the goal. Here is a DIY for you guys to solve. Keep note that the, that the number multiplying to each um, perfect square to create the new value of the new goal does not have to be 2. So just try to solve this one and try to find hidden perfect squares. Pause the video if needed. So let's solve it. So root 75, I can see that if you divide it by 3, we get 25, and that's a perfect square. And then 27 is just um, 3 times 9. And then 9 is also a perfect square. So I see that we're actually, we found perfect square values here, 25 and 9. And then we found that constant that's being multiplied, 3. So this can be rewritten as square root, 3 times 3 is 9, 9 times 9, that other 9 comes from there, times 25, and we're using our property here to break that up, oops, I'll just keep that there, square root 9 times square root 9 times root 25, and then this is 3 times 3 times 5, 3 times 3 is 9, 9 times 5 is 45. And this is the value of this example here. So one of the most important things about knowing a trick is how can you actually incorporate it into a shake. So I'm going to go over how you can create the trick into a goal. So in the beginning, make sure you scan over your resources, the goal setter, and see what options you have. And use the cubes you have available and choose two perfect squares. Let's say you chose 16 and 36, and these cubes are available in your resources. Just to check, 16 is 4 times 4, it breaks up, and then 36 breaks up into 6 and 6. From here, it's really easy. As long as you have a square root sign in your resources, you're able to create this goal here. Root 16 times 36. It also meets the 6 cube limit for the goal. If you wanted to expand this, this goal, you could take a constant, like take 2, you don't have to have a cube, and just multiply. Figure this out in your head or on paper before you make the goal. And then you would get 32 times 72. And like I said, make sure these cubes are available in your resources so that you can make it into the goal. And then this solution is even, this goal is even harder than the one before, so this would be a, a more advanced goal. And then obviously, make sure you kind of plan things out and see if you have the cubes needed to make a solution. One other thing, make sure you put your parentheses in your goal, because if you don't, people might interpret things, the goal, differently. So just be safe. Always, I, here's what I always did as a player. I always put parentheses everywhere, because it's free, it doesn't cost anything, you don't have to like use cubes. And just, you gotta always play it safe or else you might lose something because of an easy mistake. Thank you for watching this video. As you saw in the video, the best tricks are the ones where you expand off of previous ones. And you could become so powerful because people only know, sometimes, even if they know your trick, they only know the foundation and then you're expanding and making a really powerful goal. So if subscribe and turn on notifications to be the first to receive new content from the channel and new trick videos. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comments below and I'll get to you as soon as possible. And finally, we are accepting video requests. There's an email address, videorequestsagtt at gmail.com. The, the name is also in the description below for the email address. So, bye.